Yeah, it is wide open race. I think it's a competitive open race. You know, got the, the Imperial Commander Cordon Demon who won the race before, and lots of youngsters coming on behind us. It's going to be a really open, good race, I think. And you've had time to digest Cordo Styles' run in the uh, the King George, yeah. sort of a, a month and a half on from that. What what do you make of it? I don't think he ran up to his best, and we've had a few little reasons since. I mean, end of the day, probably if he hadn't made a mistake at the last, he'd have been a good second. Probably would have beat Riverside Theatre, who's you know he hadn't run too bad on Saturday, did he? And um, so it wasn't too bad a run. A long run looked awesome on the day. Um, and again, to E6, and we were what we were eleven. Um, but he, he's come back from that. We we gave him a couple of weeks off, and you know freshened up now and he seems in good form and what about his jumping I mean you're saying earlier it was a, a very bad fall he had in the, the gold cap yeah. last year um, and he made a blunder in the King George's yeah. have been schooling a lot since oh, he's done plenty oh, that was just a, a just a racing mistake the pressure was on there at Kempton he just made it he got it wrong um, he jumped great at down roll and he's jumped great since you know And Denman, um, I mean, fantastic record at Cheltenham. I mean, he's had a wind up since uh, since we last saw him in the Hennessy. Yeah, it's a minor operation. Let's get it right, and it could it could improve him a few pounds. That's the idea. If we can just improve him a bit and help him, that's got to be a plus. And I mean, his run in the the Hennessy was fantastic. And in fact, the Racing Post ratings guys have it as the the best performance of the season. So. Yeah. You must go there with a big chance. That was interesting. I mean, I, that's one of the reasons I did the pre up because I just felt he got himself in a position and then faded a bit from the back of the second last. And I just wondered if the breathing wasn't stopping that. And if we can just improve him and you're right, then he's got a leading chance, yeah. And jockey arrangements, has anything uh, been decided? I, I suspect Sam will ride uh, Denman and Rue will ride Cordo Star. And of course, you've got a couple of outsiders in the race as well. Yeah. Uh, Neptune Collange, that was a fantastic performance to get him back to win the, uh, the Argento chase. And he wasn't a f- lot far behind them in his prime. No, he wasn't. And, you know, it'd be nice if he could, it'd be fantastic if he could you know, run into a place again, you know, which he's quite capable of doing. And what a friend. Um, Going to have Brinkers on? Yeah, he will. But I think he's now, we see on Saturday, he's going to be ground dependent. He won't have really nice ground. If he got soft, I'd probably think about twice about running him. And on what he's done this season, he's got to improve quite a lot. And so if he didn't go to Cheltenham, would he go to Aintree or something? He could go to Aintree, he could run in the National, he could run in the Martar Cup that he won last year even. So we'll just see, he is grain dependent though. Looking ahead to the Gold Cup, this time last year it was billed as a two-horse race. This year, anything could win it. Yeah, certainly. I mean, we're all set for... We deemed the decider last year, but uh, as all things always happen in horse racing, didn't get a plan. And uh, Imperial Commander obviously strode to victory, and you've got to say he's, he's definitely the one to beat this year. He's the uh, he's the reigning champ, the 72 favourites, uh, and it is the likes of uh, well, the, the old stages and in terms of Cortez Star and Demon that are coming back trying to regain their crowns. And also you've got the, the young guns in the shape of Long Run, Diamond Harry, Panda Armour even, um, that, that could easily go ahead and win. And it wouldn't be surprised, you know, especially if the ground came up testing, because we had quite a bit of rain before last year's Gold Cup. And uh, if that uh, if that happened, then it would really throw the cat amongst the pigeons. So it's a, it's a race that's wide open at the moment. And uh, it's a, Imperial Command is a, a tentative favourite at 7-2, but of course we haven't seen him since he won the Betfair chase. So there uh, been plenty of money around, good spread of business. Thank you.